What is up YouTube, Thrift School over here and I'm going to show you how to properly package and ship these guys CDs for the cheapest and safest way possible. Let's go. All right, so right here we have a slew of packaging methods, plus a scale, plus a whole pile of stuff that just don't pay attention to any of that. But let's get right into it. So we have our CD. Now, the lightest method will be to stick it into one of these guys. Now, these are poly mailers, poly bags. I pick these up all the time, very, very, very cheap through Amazon or eBay. Buy them in packages of 100, 200, 1,000, however you want to buy them. I actually have a link for them down below. I always have links like that in my description for the packaging items I use. But these guys work great for clothing items, certain toys, books, things like that. So it weighs next to nothing. And now we could test the weight real quick by sticking it on this scale, which I also have a link for down below, of course. Now, while it loads up, we'll just take our poly mailer, fold it up, stick it on top. This weighs less than a half of an ounce. It's 0.4 ounces. That's the cheapest method. Now, do I ship my CDs in poly mailers? I don't. Now, the reason why is jewel cases are not the strongest of materials. So, this case right here, if it gets a box stacked on top of it or anything else, it can crack, get crushed, ruin the CD inside. But most importantly, it will ruin the case. And the condition you said it was in will not arrive like that most of the time. Not saying all the time, but most of the time. So, next we have boxes. Boxes do really well. This is one that Amazon ships to you. You can just take your CD, you slide it on in, close it on up, fold it on over. And... Ta-da! Just tape it up. It's good to go. Let's see how much this guy weighs. Stick it on our scale. You're looking at about 5.3 ounces. Now, that is just over the threshold. eBay has a threshold of four ounces. Four ounces, right? That's when it's going to cost you $2.61. Anything five to eight ounces, I believe, at the time of filming this, they're always changing their prices, but anything five to eight ounces costs $2.77 to ship. So let's say you're shipping out a bunch of CDs, you wanna cut costs a little bit, you can ship these via media mail. Now anything between one ounce and 16 ounces costs $2.63 to ship via media mail. But you wanna cut costs a little bit more, you're trying to get to that four ounce limit, I recommend using poly mailers that are also bubble mailers. So. They have these bubbles inside to make them a little safe. Now, I also have this priority mail right here, which you can ship if it's a very expensive CD. I, I do recommend using these cardboard poly mailers or the bubble ones. Bubble ones cost a little bit more, but these cardboard ones will be guaranteed to get to the buyer within two to three business days usually. So that's always an option, but it is a little more costly. It's about $6. So we're talking about the cheapest method, which would be these bubble mailers. Now. If you already have an eBay store, I recommend ordering these guys. They're, they come with a coupon that you get every quarter by having an eBay store, and you can get these for basically free, which is awesome to have. But let's say you don't have an eBay store. You can pick up regular ones like this. This was actually a recycled one that I got from Amazon, and I recycle them and use them all the time. This one's actually smaller and a little bit lighter. Now you just take your CD and you can stick it in there, and it would weigh, so once, this CD is slid into here. Stick it on top to see how much it weighs. And looking at 3.5 to 3.6 ounces, just about, now it's 3.4, 3.5. So about 3.5 ounces to ship. Once you tape it up, stick a label on there, it's still gonna be under that four ounce threshold. I personally, most of the time use these. Now this one's a little bit bigger. Can tell this one weighs 0.7 ounces. Stick your CD on top, looking at 3.8, but once you uh, tape it up, and you actually don't need to tape it since it has this lovely adhesive strip right here, you're looking at under four ounces, it's only gonna cost you $2.61 to ship this CD. Awesome. That, guys, is the cheapest and safest way to ship a CD. I'm back, guys. I wanted to really quick show you exactly how I put it in here for the safest method because I wouldn't recommend just sliding it in, adhesiving it up, and sending it off. I want to show you what helps it last the shipment a little safer and what helps it get to the customer in the best condition. 
So I recommend taking the CD, of course, sliding it in, but I only ever slide it in just a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand, which is not the best way to do it. So there we go. You slide it in just a bit, so it's right there. You take the rest of the bubble mailer, you fold it over, and then you adhesive strip it. So now you got that double padding in there. It's gonna make it extra safe, good to go. Plus it's, you know, fits it perfectly. You can stick your label right on it and it'll get there the best way. And also guys, even though this is an eBay envelope, this is actually an Amazon order in here. Sold this CD, if you ever ever find it guys, this CD right here, Binary Star, Master of the Universe, sold it for 25 bucks, so, uh, $22 actually. So this is a valuable CD in case you guys have it in your house and you didn't know you wanna sell it, now you can. Um, but yeah, so that is the best way I would ship this CD. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, Thrift School, sign it out.